This is a quick tutorial to, on how to carry out an efficient agreed upon procedures engagement in Audit Assistant. We've covered the background and theory in other articles, however this is about efficiently completing an agreed upon procedure using our updated ISRS 4400 template. Step 1. Start the preliminary engagement activities on page A1. Before accepting or continuing an AUP engagement, we must understand the purpose of the engagement. So there's a space here to describe the engagement in general terms. Make a concise summary for insertion into the engagement letter and final report as to the nature and purpose of the engagement. Then there's a field to describe the subject matter we're using, in this case, asset procurement. Step two, complete the engagement, acceptance and continuance checklist, page A2, to ensure that you can accept or continue the engagement. If we are aware of any facts or circumstances indicating that the procedures we are being asked to perform are inappropriate for an AUP engagement, we may have to suggest other services such as an assurance engagement that may be more appropriate. Any issues arising from this preconditioned checklist should be recorded as comments for follow-up or create a request to the client if something requires clarification. Step 3. Complete the Engagement Level Quality Control Checklist. This is about the engagement partner understanding their responsibilities and documenting this. Step 4. Create a subpage for each procedure to be carried out to test the subject matter. This is using page E1. As the page is created, add a quick version of the procedure. There's a space on the page then to enter the full specific procedure, and this is carried through to the final report and also to the engagement letter if one's not yet been created. This is a page that respawns for each procedure, so there will be as many versions of this as there are separate procedures. Don't continue the work on E1 yet, we'll come back to this. Step 5. Add staff details, partner, other staff assigned to the job. If we're using the work of an expert, we should add that in here too. Step 6. Add the details concerning client communication. So if we've not already done so, create an engagement letter page A5. So this engagement letter will include fields already completed such as the procedures from the E1 page and paragraphs toggled on or off depending on prior answers. Standard paragraphs are included in the ordered assistance supplied engagement letters that cover the requirements of the AUP engagement. However, a detailed checklist of requirements in the engagement letter is optional. Step 7. Obtain information from the client relevant to the AUP engagement. As part of the early information gathering from the client, we can use the request feature to uh, gather information necessary to perform the engagement. If trial balance data will be helpful to carry through to the testing pages, that can be added in now. And that can be just added in manually if it's only uh, one or two lines, or it can be a full import. Step 8. Go back to the E1 procedures pages. If trial balance data is ended, this may then be added into the top section using the drop-down. Enter the work performed, making sure this is just what the procedure specifies. We've also provided in the G to V work papers for further testing if the procedures require sampling, confirmations or other specific procedures. So in this case we're using the, um, the N1 page, which is for fixed assets, seeing we're testing asset procurement. So in this case we're we're adding a sample of the selected payments over 25,000 into this table and we're manually setting up the procedures to test each of these transactions against. And once we've done this work we can cross-reference it back to the e-procedures pages. The points at 2.2 and 2.3 on E1 will be carried over into the final report, so make sure these are clear and concise. Step 9. Finally, there's a question regarding any non-compliance with laws or regulations, and then we can finalise our report. If any errors have been found, we must include them in the factual findings sections of the procedures page, the E1 page. You can also use key issues to bring them to partner attention. Or if there are monetary errors, we can raise a journal adjustment and print a report from the W1 page. 
Note that we are not requesting the client to adjust any errors found, merely reporting their existence. The partner completes the Z1 AUP summary information page. Z1 ensures that the partner is satisfied with all the key issues and items in the engagement, that they have been completed and that the engagement procedures agree to the engagement letter. Finally, the report is completed per page Z2. If all the items have been properly addressed, the correct information should all be included and the correct sections have been selected, including the results of the procedures which carry through from page E1. There are some final questions to ensure that all necessary points have been considered, and that's the complete job. We sign off page A1 and our procedures are complete. That concludes our tutorial. If you have any questions, please get back to us at support at autodesistant.com.